What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be playing at Sunningdale Heath Golf Club, which I've never played in before. Um, it's actually right next door to Sunningdale Golf Club, which um, I'd love to play at, but it's around £300 a round. So the only thing I'll ever really get to play there, but Sunningdale is just outside of Ascot. Um, it looks like a, it's a really short course. I think it's around five and a half thousand yards. So most of the holes are par threes and par fours, no par fives which for me today is going to be great because I've been playing absolutely awfully recently. Went to the range on Thursday and it's just, I, I just can't hit the ball. Um, so I don't know what's happened. Hoping that I can at least break 90 today because I'll be very happy with that, as bad as that sounds, considering I normally play off 10 or 11 over. So yeah, fingers crossed it's going to be a nice round. Lovely day and it looks like a beautiful golf course. So hopefully you guys can see uh, the course in all its glory. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and enjoy the video. Thank you. All right, well, I did not expect this to land here, to be honest, because I thought I hit it short, but it wasn't the best connection. Try and start well. Wow, they're quite quick, aren't they? Holy mother of Jesus. Bruh. All right, sorry about that first hole. My uh, my battery died from my microphone, so I had to just get you just play on because there was people waiting behind us. But yeah, some nice holes so far. A lot of par threes and par fours, so a nice get back into course after not playing a while. So next hole, 180 yards from here. Going to play six iron. Anything on the green, I'll be uh, I'll be happy with. Well, it's on the green. Okay, so that's a that's an okay tee shot. Could have done with it a bit more accurate, but so far these greens are really fast. Considering as well it's in the morning, so there's quite a lot of dew on the grass. Because that first first putt was super quick, so I'm gonna try and be a little bit more precautious this one. Wow. Okay. Well, it's another par three. 163, it's saying to the middle. It's slightly downhill, so I'm going to play an eight. A nice, easy eight. If it pitches short, we can hopefully roll on. I think the pin's at the back, so. Seems good. Well, so we've had hit two absolute peaches there. So let's try and um, try and finish this off, shall we? Almost as far away from all as another hole at the start. Yes. Okay, so. Next hole is a, it's a short par four. There's a lot of short par fours in this hole. So this is 313 to the flag. So I'm going to try and get it in line with that bunker in the fairway. Got five iron. Hopefully we can just hit a good one and not end up in that bunker because that'll be that be the uh, the plan. Well, it's straight out the bunker, but I think I've chunked it, so it should be short. Um. Yeah, sorry about that. I just completely didn't press play on that one. Um, so I've just hit, that was an eight iron from about 160. Slightly left of the green, a little bit short. Sorry about that. Okay, so I'm in two minds whether I want to putt this or chip this. So I think I'm going to chip it. I think I'm just going to play a nice 52 bump and run. Get to land a couple of feet before the fringe of the green. Get it to run on. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. 
Just like that. Oh, mate, my putt is going on. Oh, dear me. Right, so I've got 153 for this one. This is slightly uphill, so I'm going to play eight. I think the pin's at the back as well, so eight might not even be enough, but I don't want to be long because there's a lot of trees, so land on the green area of the golf course. Slightly left. Should still be on the green though. That was a, an AKT shot. Pulled it slightly. So if I can get within. Brr. Right, so next hole is 213 yards. I think it's slightly less than that because of the hill on the... We're playing a mix of tees today because some are temporary tee boxes, some are forward, but try and give fairly accurate yardages. So I've got four on. Just play a nice, easy four on. So I'm a bit short. It's actually a bit long. Yeah, so in hindsight, I probably should have taken a five iron there. I didn't actually realise we were playing the yardage because some of the tees are temporary and some of the grass. We'd rather play off the grass, so we're playing a mix of the blues and the silvers, so I should have played a, a five iron, which probably would have been about right, so a bit annoying, but hey-ho. Quite a tough putt now, uphill, right to left. Try and get it close-ish. That will do. Okay, so another long par three. That's a good mix of long par threes and short par fours in this course. So it's, um, it's a good mix of holes. So I'm going to play four iron. Should be the same shot I played in the last hole. Pins right at the back by the looks of it. Short's okay, but I just don't want to be, uh, don't want to be left. So. Oh, I said don't go left. Jinxed it. Okay. Okay, well, not exactly where I wanted to be, but I'm here, so let's deal with it. Oh. So I think I can play a 52. I've just got a gap here to the right of this tree. So if I can play a nice bump and run, try and get on the green, that'd be ace. Well, might work. Couldn't have done much more really, apart from hit it properly. Some of those. Okay, well that's not four feet. <sighs> Five. Horrendous. Yeah, okay, so straight in this one now. Quite a tight hole. I think there's a bunker on the left. So I'm gonna play a six on, try and leave myself. A nice wedge into the green. Try and actually get a par or a birdie properly. Okay, so I've got 88 into the pin now. I'm gonna play a nice 60. Try and get it past the pin because I think it looks like it slopes down. A little bit left. No, hit the ground. Cracker. Right, so a very lovely little par three now. 145-ish. So I'm gonna play a nice easy nine, pins at the back. Should be the right, the right club. Ah, oh, in the bunker, I think. Oh, just avoided the bunker. Okay, so a bit of an annoying I'll hit that short, but I did trunk it, so don't know what to expect, really. Tricky sort of shot. Got a little bit of green to work with. Want to try and get this to pitch a metre or so short and just run up. A 
bit too much. Okay, so another nice, nice par three now, 180 yards. A little bit of wind behind as well, so I should help it. Got a six iron. Ah, oh, it's gone right. It's gonna be short as well. Just avoided the bushes. Okay, well this isn't definitely not a one position. Probably not even a two. I'm gonna play 52. Bump and run. Get to land on the front edge of this green, just roll on. <sighs> kind of dug in when it landed. Oh. Yeah. All right, so another long par three. We weren't undecided if this is a par three or par four, because the sign says par four, but my app says par three, so. I'm going to play four iron. There's a little bit of wind, so I'm going to try and keep it lower than usual. Keep up the right-hand side because there's another fairway there. I don't want to go left, so try and play a, a semi-stinger. Oh, no. Oh, God. Ow. Right, well, I think that might be gone. <sighs> Not ideal, but better than taking the other one that was three off the tee. 52. Should be able to just chop this onto the green. Go. Go. That'll do. Uh, yeah, sorry, I um, forgot to press play again. Okay, so, well, we think this is another par four. The uh, signs are saying par four, like I just said, but my app says par three. Ah, uh, it's par four for women. It's red and there's a white one. Okay, so that was a bogey. So this is par three again then. Um, but I'm still going to lay up because it's a bloody long par three. Oh, sh**. All right. Right on the fescue. Right, well, it's not the worst position to be in, but it's also not the best. In some quite hick, hick, thick heather or whatever you want to call it. Just need to play 60 degree. Try and get this onto the green. I think that's on the green. I can't really see it. I think it rolled down to the flag. Okay, so that was a nice shot there. A little bit quite fortunate on the bounce. Let's try not to cock this up. Okay, so a slightly more difficult par four now. Goes down to the right and around the corner. So I'm going to play an eight layup. I'm trying to just cut the corner a little bit with these trees. Oh, or just chunk it. Yeah, I'll do that instead. It's gone absolutely nowhere. So I think I've actually accidentally played the right shot here. I was going to go right, but there's a load of rough and thick bushes there, so kind of a uh, kind of paid off chunking it. So I've got 60 degree, got 80 yards in. Looks like the green slopes down to the front. Pins right at the front. I'm going to play a try and get a bit of zip on this. Might be a bit too far. No, it's good. Yes, if you could remove the shaft. This is a horrible putt now. It's downhill, so really left to right. Probably aiming about two foot outside the cup. Go on. Yeah, I know. Okay, so another short par three. 153 to the middle, a little bit of wind behind, so I'm gonna play nine on. Hope I catch it. Oh, slapped it. Should be okay. Okay, not the best tee shot. So I've got 52. I'm gonna try and skim this, get some skip on it, get a bit of spin on it. 
one stop and or a couple of stops and then stop next to the pin. Well, it's not at all what I was trying to do, but it's worked out, so don't care. Right, really short one now, 77 yards. Opportunity to get a good bit of spin on it. It's gonna play 60 degree. Hmm. Well, see daisy. Oh, so I'm gonna play 52 again here. Same as the last shot, bump and run. A little bit of right to left on the green. Was that as a gimme? Oh, that's very kind, Ed. Okay, so longer hole now, 294 yards. I'm pretty sure it's straight at the end. We're trying to figure it out, but we, we can't. So I'm just going to hit a five on. Remotely down the middle would be excellent. A little bit of draw off the trees on the right. Oh, no, hang on left. Oh, I think that's gone in the trees. Um, yeah, so unfortunately that one's somehow disappeared i saw it land in the bushes but i just can't find it so yeah a bit annoying so i'll give myself a generous drop here because we need to be quick and i don't want to faff around in the bushes i'm gonna play six on sort of like a half bump and run up to the with the trees blocking a shot up from a wedge that's too much it's gone over the back of the green okay so i'm gonna Play a nice bump and run like I did on the last hole. Leave myself a nice putt. Got 52 degree. I can have it. Can I have it? Did you say? Okay, so nice, nice par three now. Obviously, these are all mostly par three. So got 120 to the pin. Going to play 52. Ow. Why is it going left? I think that's still on the green, weirdly. Right, standard procedure. Bump and run with a 52. Seems to be working well today. A little bit of right to left, so I'm gonna aim a couple feet out to the right, let it roll down. Ah, oh, a bit too much. Well, it was working. Hit it. Okay, last hole. 155 to the back. So it should be a nice nine iron. The, uh, the green is dangerously close to the patio, which is a bit concerning. But as long as we hit it well, we'll be able to get on the green. Oh, you, why have we done exactly the same thing? Uh, I'm short, mate. Short of the bunker. Okay, so a bit of an awkward shot now. But 52. Put it to nip on. I think there's a little bit of a slope, so a nice shot would be good. Oh, you fell end. Wait, mate, that was so quick. I thought that was going to be short. Mate. Yeah, that was a good round. Short and challenging. Definitely not easy. <laughs> 